Do you remember Louise and her robot? Yep, that's the one. She really owned her boyfriend, didn't she? It is very unlikely any student can bring a cougar robot home. As you have probably guessed by now, the video is of course fake. It is actually produced by the SME Robotics Project. The setup shown here is not safe, but we did take all precautions to safeguard the actors. We always had two guys on the side with a finger on the emergency stop button. But did you notice what the robot did? It portrays a lot of the problems and issues industrial robotics is facing right now. Easy configuration and reprogramming, cognitive features and decision making, and safety measures that allow for human-robot interaction in real time. It is very hard to get a robot to open a can of soda, as we show you here. One of the problems we faced when making the film was that we needed the can to be at the exact same position every time. A highly experienced researcher at DTI spent night and day to build the gripper with Lego bricks. He is still having nightmares of it. It was a challenge, as he described it. Another problem was that when the robot opened the can, it did not spray. We needed a lot of takes for this. The video was recorded in the spring of 2013 at the Danish Technological Institute with the help from students from the University of Southern Denmark. It was placed online October 15, 2013. We received a lot of reactions on this, <laughs> and also flirtation. People connected it somehow to the Ada Lovelace Day because we portrayed a woman in charge of the robot. But it is actually a product of the SME Robotics project. SME Robotics consists of companies and research institutions in the field of robotics from all over Europe. SME Robotics strive to create SME-suitable robots that assist in managing uncertainty by symbiotic human-robot interaction and embedded cognition going beyond flexibility by semantic integration, uh, basically the industrial robot of the future. And we need help in this exciting and fun field of research. It is something we suggest you consider when deciding upon the direction of your future and study. It is fun, challenging, and it includes a lot of interesting topics that need further research. The researchers in the SME Robotics Consortium decided that we should motivate future students by describing the challenges and problems we face within robotics right now. Therefore, we created student.smerobotics.org. It's a specialized area where future researchers within industrial robotics can find more information and gain direct insight into the SME Robotics project. Oh, and please remember, robotics has no gender.